What's up, everybody? It's your favorite entertainment blogger, Andre J. Thomas, and I am in Miami with one of my favorite African-American commentators, Mr. Ed Gordon. What's up, man? How you feel, Dre? I am awesome. Now, I understand you got a new project coming out. Can you tell our listeners about that new project? Yes, September 13th, we uh, premiere a new news magazine uh, program called Ed Gordon on Bounce TV. We're okay. really excited about it. The first edition will have a segment I did with the Mothers of the Movement. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a hard Mothers segment. of the Movement. Mothers of the Movement, Trayvon Martin's mother, Jordan Davis, uh, Michael Brown, okay. uh, Oscar Grant, and Robbie Tolan, who don't uh, a lot of people don't know about. He didn't pass away uh, through his incident, but had a huge Supreme Court decision, which affects all of us. Uh, very emotional, mm -hmm. uh, great segment. I, I can't wait for people to actually see what these women have lived through and, and the power that uh, the unfortunate tragedy has brought to them. We also have a segment about the new movie, The Birth of a Nation, that a, lo a lot of people are talking about. We've got a profile of Maxwell. Okay. We, I, I think that's a great lineup for the first show, so we're looking forward to it. So let me ask you this, because I see that a lot of it seems like it's very empowering to African Americans. Do you think we do enough of that? I think that we uh, certainly attempt to. I think the times have forced us to really look at ourselves and say that there's more for us to get out of this mm -hmm. and that we do it better together than apart. Okay. And so through all of the tragedy and the problems that we've seen over the course of the last 10 years or so, I think now is a time where, as a community, we're starting to bond together and yes. really look at an idea of uh, seeing that circling the wagons and, and, and being more like family than not okay. is a better way for us to go. Now, the last thing I want to ask, and I'll let you out of here, what, I, I guess, advice would you give a young journalist like myself to be the next Ed Gould? Well, I would aspire to be the next you. Okay, okay, I can accept that. <laughs> but I, I tell everybody that um, we all steal from people we watch and uh -huh. admire, and I did the same, and then you craft it to become the next you. Okay. Uh, but I would say that this business really is about uh, learning the craft and hanging in there. It's, it's not an easy business. It's a very difficult business to climb the ladder. Yeah. And it's being, becoming more and more difficult because everybody wants to be uh -huh. on TV or on the radio. So yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of it is just kind of having the fortitude to, to hang in there and things don't always work on your clock. But if you got a little talent, message, yeah. uh, you just kind of stick with it okay. and uh, try to get better and try to move up that ladder. Well, I definitely want to thank you. And I just want to say back to my favorite broadcast in Birmingham, the Joe Like a Show on 101.1 Superstation, WYDE. Thank you so much, my buddy. Thank you.